welcome back to the Jack and Dexter HD Trilogy on the PlayStation 3. I had PlayStation 1 and 2 going through my mind then, but obviously it's the 3. So yeah, Jack 1 is done. That rhymed. Jack 2. Now it says I've got 122% complete here, and that will become clear uh, when we progress through the game as to why it goes above 100%, which doesn't make sense anyway, but you know. So yeah, let's do it. I'm sitting here with half a two litre bottle of coke because I'm fairly tired. I actually recorded like an hour and a half of this already, but I wasn't happy with it, so I'm redoing it. And here we are. Now as you can see, as you probably already assumed, this game is a lot different to Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. In many ways, um, I won't go into much now, but yeah. So yeah, as you can see, this game is obviously a lot darker than Jack 1, because Jack 1 was a very happy run around over hills collecting power cells in the sun type of thing. It wasn't that at all, but you get, you get the picture. And this looks completely different, so, uh, but I'll leave that as a mystery so that the game can explain it itself. So, let's go, new game. I will overwrite on this. That's the one I recorded last time. I got an hour and ten minutes recorded. recorded. Uh, watched over it, like, the next day, and I was not happy with it. So, let's see if this goes better. <laughs> I love that sound. You can mash X on that screen. For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. These graphics are amazing. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. That ring is the big door we found at the end of Jack 1. The secret, um, the, like, when you collect 100 power cells, that massive door will be opened. Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Anybody press all the buttons? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! This part is really important. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna need to remember this part. I mean, it's not hard, but you know. Big, big influence on this entire game and the next game. Daxter looks awesome now. Okay, I swear. That's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Ah! 
Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Yeah, that guy's a dick. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Two years later. In those two years, the, the PSP game Daxter takes place, which I have never played, and it really annoys me. I don't have a PSP, so I can't play it, but I want to. It looks amazing. Dark eco injection cycle complete. Bio readings nominal and unchanged. Well, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I've pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures. Move forward with a final plan and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks from the chair so I can... Or, uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. All right, and we are here. Saving. So, as you can already see, there are a lot of changes in this game in comparison to Jack 1, as I said earlier. Um. For a start, one of the main changes is Jack can talk now. I don't know where he learned to do that in those two years, but you know, maybe he had teaching lessons, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's one of the things. Two, the graphics are a hell of a lot better. I mean, I know this is a HD collection, so theoretically all the graphics should be pretty much the same. But I said it in Jack 1, that Jack 1 hadn't aged quite as well as Jack 2 and 3. And that is just nothing but the truth. Um, I've heard other people say very similar things and things like that, so... Uh, yeah, but the graphics are amazing. Uh, we've got this new <laughs> stylish haircut. I don't know where he got that as well. But, you know. Um, and, yeah, we'll find out a lot more of the changes later. It's just Daxter reminding me how to jump, which I really couldn't do on that block there. Another thing. Precursor orbs. I'm sure you remember these. Precursor orbs are worth a lot now. We might find a few hidden around, or get some doing difficult tasks. We'll be able to buy stuff with them. Thank you, Daxter. I was literally about to explain that. I forgot you had that speech there. But, um, yeah, so pre precursor orbs are rare now. They're like the hidden items you find in games. And, well, they're exactly the hidden items you find in games. Um, Please tell me you remember how to roll. And I was about to explain that as well. Alert. Prison escape in progress. So, rolling, in Jack 1, you could use either R1 or L1 to roll. In Jack 2, it is only L1. L1, I can't speak. Um, which, there's a reason for that, which will come apparent later. Um, but yeah, so L1 roll, obviously. Ooh, that's a high ledge. Try jumping once, then jump again while in the air to reach that one. There are lots of crimson guard crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate! So yeah, obviously we've got a double jump again, which is a lot better in this game. You can... Okay, that didn't work to my... Yeah, at all. I meant to go... You can actually delay the jump. The second jump. But I don't know how much. How much can you? You can delay it that much. I know that, but obviously not as much as I thought. But um yeah, you can delay it a bit. Good job! The crate had a health pack inside. Pick it up! You'll want to keep healthy, Jack, or uh, who'll do the fighting. Yep. Uh another thing is this move. Not that move. This ledge seems to hate me. Yeah, okay, there's a fall thing really high up there. Hang on, if I do it here. You can still do that one, the one I discovered in Jack 1. Um I couldn't do it down there because the fall barrier 
was really really high for some reason. But basically, you can li you can literally punch off the edge and then do an uppercut out of it, like that. Which is it's not the easiest thing to do, but <laughs> you can do it and it's quite cool. So yeah. Um, if you duck before you jump, you'll go higher. You'll need a high jump to reach the top of this ledge, Jack. There are several ways of doing a really high jump like that. Obviously, the default is holding crouch and then jumping from crouch, and you do a massive jump. Another one is by ground pounding and then pressing X the second you land. And because if you didn't do anything, if you just ground pound, you'd just you'd do that. But if you hold, if you press X the second you land, you'll bounce off and you'll be able to do it again. And you get loads of height. Another way is to do a rolling jump and then jump right after and you'll do another spring jump like that. Uh, it may have looked like I did one hit kill them then but they, uh, these guards actually they actually take two hits to die. That was just because that counted as two attacks. There you go. Oh god. Orb. Almost missed that one. I. This is like the only place I know where they all are apart from Possibly the sandy area later. I'm not sure. I think I know where most of them are. Yeah, there. Oh, oh, really? Well, you could not grab the edge. Really? <laughs> Thank God. I am failing this hard into this early into the game. It's fine. I'll speed run it. Away with you. Yeah. I said this a lot in the Jack 1 playthrough. Um, no. Oh, good. The punch attack. When, uh, X. Square, rather. Not X. That's X. Plus control so. Um, Square. <laughs> uh, that happens. That exact thing. When I was attacking then, I was pushing directly forwards. You can get a longer jump by rolling into it. Yeah, but um, on I think it's just the HD collection. I do not remember having this problem when I was a kid playing on the PS2 version. When you punch, sometimes it will veer you off to the side for no reason, like punch, and then you just go woof, like you saw a second ago. It done it in it does it in all three games on the HD collection. Um, don't know, but yeah, we have to roll jump this. So let's do it. Crap. Oh well, secret area. Yeah, not many people knew that was there. Um, I've watched quite a few playthroughs online uh, of people playing this game. And a lot of people didn't know it was there. They they kind of went straight over it. To be fair, it's kind of easy to miss because this one here is an endless drop. That one's not. And this next area here is one of my favourite areas in this entire like level. I don't know why. I think it's just the fact that you're being fired at and the lights are red and the music turns awesome. the ground hard enough to break lots of things. Breaking stuff's fun, right? <laughs> Breaking stuff's Our fun, right? This time? I'll be there. You collect your bribes this week. I love listening these listening to these guys speak. I like the new armor. Yeah, me too. I get more comfort in the crunch. Owned. There is no escape. There is no escape. Now, that line has more meaning than you may think. <laughs> because you just said there is no escape, and the exit door is right there. The escape door, so to speak. However, there is a deeper meaning. Um because in a second we go through a cutscene where someone says that I uh it's the quote I think is um inside the city or, or inside the prison or inside the walls of the city. Um no, what? I'll let you I'll show you the cutscene and then I'll explain it afterwards. Because I've forgotten the quote. We're free, Jack! Thanks to me. Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? We'll get that Baron Praxis guy alright. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to Haven City. Whoa. I, I, I punched forwards then. 
Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. That's the quote. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Freeze! Let's do it. I think I just attacked the civilian. Don't hurt me, please. Thank you. Ah, here we are. Dark Jack. This is what the Baron done and Errol inside that cell. They're injecting him with Dark Eco. That was cool! Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along! Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Alright. So yeah, the quote was, inside the cell or inside the city, walls surround us. Walls surround them both. The city map is displayed in the lower right. Thank you. Follow the icons on the map to reach important destinations. Thank you. Uh, inside the walls or inside the city, well... Yeah, that was the quote, I've forgotten it again. But, um, and then he said, we are all his prisoners. So basically... Welcome to the city transportation Oh my god. Basically, when the woman said there is no escape, she meant... Even if you get out of the cell, you're still a prisoner of Baron Praxis. It's not that complicated. I don't know why I turned it into a big deal, but, you know. 